the audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're ready. I've always been an avid coffee drinker. Uh, I've drank coffee my whole adult life until somebody introduced me to tea. I'm not just talking your, your regular tea bag tea, but your high quality loose leaf tea. Uh, I always thought tea was reserved for old British women, but <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, once I, once I just started to learn about the different benefits of tea, as well as trying the different flavors, I was hooked. So my name is Nick, and today I am going to be talking to you about tea. Tea is a delicious beverage. Uh, it's many um, health benefits, and they all can be enjoyed. All the different types can be enjoyed right at the comfort of your home. So today we are going to be talking about the different types of tea, the health benefits, and I'm going to briefly show you all on how to how to steep your own tea. Much of the information today that I that I'm talking to you uh, came from the University of Maryland Medical Center. Tiavana, which is a gourmet tea retailer, and WebMD. The five types of tea that I'm going to be talking about. First, white tea, green tea, oolong, black, and your mate teas. According to Tiavana, most of the teas uh, derive from one plant, and that's the Camellia sinensis plant. And uh, the only thing that differentiates the types are the, the region that they're grown in, the times of year that they're picked, as well as the way that they're processed. So first, white tea. White tea is your minimally processed tea. It is your purest type of tea, and it also has the least amount of caffeine in it. Um, next, your green tea. Your green tea has a high amount of antioxidants. It is also a minimally processed. That tea is made by uh, boiling the tea leaves, and uh, it's, it's a, your popular uh, Asian teas. And it, it, they're really good scented teas, too. Uh, you can add uh, different flowers and different fruits to, to, uh, to make them taste and smell really good, and that's actually my favorite type of tea. Oolong tea is the next tea, and that tea is a um, slightly fermented tea. It contains about 15% of the amount of caffeine found in a normal cup of coffee, and that's a naturally sweet tea. So um, if, if, you, if you're real, a fan of sweet tea without, you know, don't want to really add the sugar, that's, that's a good tea to go for. Uh, black tea is your next tea. That's a full body tea, uh, and it contains about 20% of the amount of caffeine found in a regular cup of coffee. And most people are familiar with this type of tea. That's the tea that's found in your, your tea bags, your, your normal tea bags in the stores. Mate tea is the final tea I'm going to be discussing today. And that tea derives from the yerba mate plant, and it's actually the twigs from that plant that make that tea up. And uh, Tia Vana refers to that tea as happy tea. They call it happy tea because it has the same effects as a, a normal cup of coffee without the negative jitters that you get from it. So you kind of get that caffeine buzz without the, the jitters from it, so it's really good. Now that I spoke to you about different types of tea, I'm going to briefly talk about the different health benefits of each. Uh, white tea is, since it is the, the minimally processed tea, it does contain the highest amount of antioxidants out of all the teas. And it's really good for your skin. It's good for your skin because it contains alpha hydroxy acid and zinc. So it also aids in the prevention of acne. So it's, really good. it's a really good tea, a beneficial tea. Green tea is the next tea. Uh, um, it does have, still have a high amount of antioxidants, but since uh, it actually it is the um, contains the highest amount of cancer-fighting agents out there at, at a, uh, among the different types of tea, so it's really good at preventing different all different types of cancers, and uh, it's really good at preventing different types of cardiovascular diseases as well. Uh, and it also aids in uh, short-term memory. There's a, um, a quote out there from WebMD. It boosts brain power by enhancing memory, mood, and focus. And there's another study out there by the University of Maryland Medical Center that states if you drink three cups of tea a day, you can lower your risk of heart, heart, adapt, heart attacks by 11%. So, okay, now we move on to oolong tea. Uh, oolong tea, it, it's because it is a slightly fermented tea, it does aid in digestion by breaking down the oils and the fats in your body. And it's also a good stress relieving tea. So if you come, you come from a, a, a long stressful day at work or at school and you want to just relax, you go ahead and sip on a cup of this and it'll, it'll calm you down a little bit. Um, next, your black tea. Since that is a fully fermented tea, it does, uh, it does kill a lot of types of different germs. It's good, at, uh, it, it's good for preventing gingivitis and it also um, helps uh, to cure bad breath. Um, next, your mate, finally your mate teas. That, that tea helps you, uh, helps curb your appetite, and by curbing your appetite, it helps you lose weight. And it also has naturally occurring uh, vitamins and minerals, uh, about 21 of them, so it's, it's a, real health, a real healthy beneficial tea. All right, now
now that I spoke about different types of tea and the different health benefits, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quickly here on how to steep your own. Okay. First you want to start out with your, um, your filtered water. The reason why you want to have filtered water is you don't want to have any negative uh, extra tastes, bad tastes that you get from your tap water. So filtered water, and then you're going to have your diffuser and your strainer. This would typically be like your metal strainer that you would have your loose leaf tea in. And uh, you, you basically you want to put one teaspoon of tea for every eight ounces of water. So this is probably like a 32 ounce uh, container. So you have four levels, four level teaspoons and um, you have your water. Now you want your, you want your water at different temperatures for the different teas. Um, your green tea typically should be 180 degrees and that's steep for about two minutes. And your black teas are, are going to be a little bit longer. They're, they're boiled, the water's boiled and for about three to five minutes. So once you, uh, once you go ahead and do that, uh, you go ahead and, and brew that and then pour it and you can enjoy your tea. So now that I've talked about different types of tea, the different health benefits, as well as showing you briefly on how to steep your own tea, I think you'll all be better informed now and you can go out there and enjoy your cup of tea and uh, it'll be great. So just remember, if you drink two to three cups of tea a day, your body will thank you for it. You'll live long, healthy, and happy lives and uh, it'll be great. Thank you.